Hey everyone, I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish, and we're the Wandering Food Dudes. And today we're here at Little Red uh, Catering and Takeout here on Rainier Avenue in South Seattle. So make sure you guys go ahead before we start this, make sure you follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. We'll put the link below. In the meantime, let's go ahead and show you this. So they have a little truck here, which is pretty awesome. They do their catering stuff. We're gonna show you this real quick. Ooh. We'll show you this right here. Here we go. So they're right here on Rainier Avenue. Let's go inside, check the place out. Now we've already placed our order ahead of time. Um, so we're just waiting on it. But let's go ahead and take a look, see on the uh, in. Here's the menu. As you guys can see, there's quite the selection of different things to take a look at. We're gonna go ahead and go out while they're here. We already ordered a lot of the food already, so we're gonna go outside and make sure everything's all set while we're waiting for our food because it is packed in there. And we don't want to make them uh, too packed to enforce the COVID regulations and whatnot. So we ordered the food. What did we order? So we got a half rack of rib, pork ribs, and then the barbecue beef brisket, and uh, a jerk sandwich, uh, or jer small jerk chicken. Small jerk chicken. Um, which, based off the flags, I'm expecting it to be Jamaican style. Yeah, and we got it with some cornbread, and what else did we get? Some cor uh, Kool -Aid cornbread, Kool-Aid, and some coleslaw. So very importantly, I got the red Kool-Aid. Red Kool-Aid. So we, were we were just talking about that, about you know calling it the flavors versus colors. Not us. No, no, no. Thank you, though. So here's the outdoor area right here. So they have a little outdoor area where you can eat. It's a little bit loud over here because we're right on the main street. This is Rainier Ave, which is really busy for Seattle. So let's go ahead and let's double. Ooh, that is bright as can be. So it is just super bright. This is, um, what was that? That's crazy. So we're on Rainier Avenue. As you guys can see, it's pretty bright here. It's a very beautiful sunny day. Uh, but we already placed the order in, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, wait for our food to come out. So everyone, we're back here. We got our our, our, our final order from, <laughs> from Little Red's <laughs> from Little Red's takeout. So we're gonna show you what we got real quick, just so y'all can see it. Check it out. So we got the jerk chicken right here. Let me actually switch this real quick. There we go. So there's the jerk chicken. We got the uh, brisket. Yeah, and um, pork ribs. And the pork ribs. So the outside was really packed with the, uh, they're seating outside, but it was super packed. And of course we got purple Kool-Aid and red Kool-Aid. So we're actually gonna be doing this in the back of the car because unfortunately all the seating was taken up and we couldn't do anything about it. So before we do that, let's make sure we can see each other here. Perfect. So we're gonna show you now that we're here and we're darker and we're better. We're gonna go ahead and show you all the food we got. So let's start with the, I wanna start with the brisket. So. We're here next to a park, and so that's, uh, you know, get here, so we'll start with this first. Let's see how this is. Ooh. This is not, there we go. Where's the napkins at that you had? The ones I gave you with the map? No, I gave you with this. The, no. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second here. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Here they are. Accusing me of things. I He handed me the sporks and not the napkins. I put this on the side. I totally blame him. Accusing me of things as always. So how'd you like it? So, um, the... Little hard to to tear apart uh, with sporks, but it is very nice and soft. Um, you get a taste of the smokiness from the wood that I use. They use a very mild, um, probably brown sugar glaze. It tastes like so you get a nice bit of the meatiness of the brisket. Um, very tender. Um, Delicious. Not a spicy sauce, almost a slightly sweet sauce to it. It's very, it breaks down in your mouth super easy. Mm. Ah, red. Well, you can tell they they cook it long, a long time. Yeah, they, they were saying it, it was um, 
48 hours or 72 hours, something like that, yeah. of smoking on their website. Now we're gonna try the jerk chicken. Mm. I like it. It's very smoky. Very I'll, I'll it has that good one barbecue sauce on it. Good stuff. I want to add a little bit. Of this. Mm, you gotta try this. Mm. You know me, guys. I don't like spicy things so much. So I'm so slightly worried about this. Jerk chicken is definitely a little bit spicy on it. Um, if you don't like spice, put it on the side. It's definitely. Mm. Delicious, but spicy. Nope, 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 nope. So besides the spice. Well, chicken's well done, but man, that is spicy. Mm -hmm. And it's a spice that kicks you right, almost right away. Ugh. So as someone who enjoys spice, Ugh. great flavor. Good amount of spice. It hits you up from the from the beginning. It just hits you right there. Um, has a good taste. The chicken's well done. Very well marinated. I love it. If you're someone who likes spice, you're gonna love it. <sighs> May the pork ribs uh, douse this in flame. Mm -hmm. mm. If you don't like spice, it's gonna be very hot for you. The pork ribs, on the other hand. But yeah, highly recommend the jerk chicken. Great seasoning. Mind you, this is for someone who likes spice. If you're not a big spice fan, it's gonna be very hot for you. I am miserable. So here's the pork ribs. Even after the drinking and eating of the pork. That's why I was wanting to save it for last. You're gonna have to suffer eventually. This way I could suffer and still taste everything else. Now I'm mostly just tasting the spice. That's the beauty of it. Well, that's why we should have waited for last like I told you to. You could have done it. I can avoid your chicken. Mm. He doesn't listen to me about anything. Like he ordered without the the drink. Then he went, oh wait, he saw my Kool-Aid. He's like, I have to get my Kool-Aid well, myself. Thought, there's people who had like purple one and it just looked really good. Now you, you know what I thought? I, it looked almost like a uh, like grape juice almost. But these, very well seasoned, falls right off the bone. Definitely recommend the pork ribs, man. Again, it's a sweeter um, barbecue sauce to it. Um, not not like a tomato base, like a heavy tomato based one. Whatever they're using, man, is delicious. Uh huh. Like man, bro. Um, pork ribs are very lovely fat amount of fat on them. Juicy. Has a good amount of grease, but that's a natural grease from it. Nothing that's overly greased. Good amount of bone uh, meat to each of the bones. Mm -hmm. So luckily I was done with that, but I dropped the bone a mistake. <laughs> Shame on you. Damn it. But it was delicious, so. And then what he could have done had he known this, um, but he doesn't know yet, so he'll learn. When you have something spicy, you want something to cool it down. Cornbread. I'm well aware. So when you have something that's overly spiced to the point that you're not sure if you're not a spice person, pop a little bit of cornbread or bread. And, mm, wow. Crumbly, delicious. I hope you suffer them fires in Mount Doom, by the way. <laughs> it is some good cornbread, bro. <sighs> Still suffering. Eat the cornbread. Mind you, he's not saying it's horrible. It's just hot for him. He I hate. He doesn't do spice. Spicy. But he had to try. I like to do flavor, spirit. but it's so spicy. It's flavorful, but it has more spice than anything. <laughs> It is flavorful. I'm coming from someone who, who likes spice. It is very flavorful. It's just if you're not, if you're someone who doesn't eat spice at all, Ugh. it's gonna be hard for you. Like, you want spice? The fact that it just it hits you right away and then like lingers, the yeah. tingling lingers. I don't like that. That's that's jerk chicken. 
You don't have a hard get, time when we go to Jamaica. No, 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 that's true. Now, Thai spices, I can handle a lot better than I can Jama Jamaican spices. Cornbread is good, though. Nice, crumbly. He's trying to build up his tolerance to spice. Hopefully soon. It won't. Because we're going to end up going to Jamaica, Szechuan. Guangzhou. So far, what I've seen Jamaicans, they like making the spicy for the sake of pain. Scotch bonnet. The only way to make it. No. The only way to make it. If it ain't spicy, what's wrong? Ooh. Thai cooking can be spicy without being pain. You can't handle Thai either. <laughs> I have a Thai neighbor just next door. They're Americanizing spice for you. It's probably true. But these ribs, loving them. Ooh, very saucy, juicy. Fall off the bone, man. This is just a little bit of the stuff they got. They had tons of stuff there. I'm gonna go and oxtail. I really want an oxtail, but they ran out. Whoa, there's a guy right in front of us. Mm hmm. What he said. He's learning how to speak for the first time. Give him a second. Ah, ah. Now the um, Daxo ran out. Literally, the guy right in front of us ordered the last one. We looked at him and went, ah, crap, we wanted that. You got to be there as soon as it opens. This is a James Beard winning, award winning uh, chef there. Super friendly uh, people there. They're very family oriented. Very, it's a family. Super busy. Packed. They probably had like 14, 15 people. We're missing something. Missing something. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go back later, but um, we know it's already good, but we are missing the coleslaw. You are right. Mm -hmm. We never got a coleslaw. Oh well. Probably me, you. you're the one who grabbed the order. Yeah. So I'll go back after and get it. I know the coast is phenomenal though. So. It's probably the best brisket I've had up since coming back from Texas. Oh yeah. They were super busy, so not mad at them. They at have all. random chunks of fat in here, which I really enjoy. So overall, very delicious. The Kool-Aid is like the way Kool-Aid's supposed to be made. Thick and full of sugar. Yeah. You're, you're waking up from that Kool-Aid. But um, I don't know if I said this already, but like we're looking and it's like, oh, I would like some Kool-Aid. I haven't had Kool-Aid since basic training. She's like, oh, uh, what, what flavors? And I would stop going, uh, I'm having a problem with word. You want red, blue, purple. It's like, oh, that's what's up. You don't call it flavors, you call it colors. If you I call want it, red. If you call it flavors, you're not drinking real Kool-Aid. What is that? So overall, seven the best um, non-Asian barbecue I've had up here by far. Oh yeah, by a long shot. This is probably one of my favorite barbecue places to come to um, for a reason. They, they know how to they know how to barbecue their stuff they are phenomenal at it great service um, they get packed so you got to be there early it could take a while but that's a good thing that just shows the love and the dedication that they have there you definitely want to be able to support a black owned business especially a small owned business this is something good they won a james beard award for a reason is that their meat just man just falls right super off super tender super, super juicy tender. definitely delicious we definitely want to go back and get a lot more than just this <laughs> Definitely a lot more than this. This is just amazing. Definitely loving it. Jerk chicken. If you want spice, get the jerk chicken. If you want less spice, the ribs and everything, um, it's just the way to go. Jerk chicken. Verboten.
<laughs> if you want jerk chicken, go for it. Go. This is where you want for jerk chicken. If you want real jerk chicken, remember this is the real Jamaican way. This is the proper way to make jerk chicken. So it's 100% phenomenal for jerk chicken. Um, I've been in some places they don't add the spice properly. It's just. But um, other than that, 100% loving it. Mm -hmm. Everything, you heard them, even the spice stuff, really good, really phenomenal if you like the spice. Uh, make sure you go ahead, subscribe uh, to our to our channel. Leave go any ahead. comments below. Yeah. If you don't like it, make sure you hit that dislike button twice. Uh, make sure you come here, support them. They are awesome. Lil Red's Takeout and Catering. They are on Rainier Avenue here in Seattle. They're an amazing place, awesome, super busy. If you wanna get the stuff early, come here early. They open at 11. Um, phenomenal place to be at, super, like you said, friendly, good food, filling, um, just delicious, really. It's, I can see why they won an award. Um, so y'all, thank you for coming, checking this out. If you wanna see anything else, let us know. We're gonna try to finish this food and we're gonna go pick up our coleslaw. And other than that, y'all have a phenomenal day. Thank you for watching, thank you for coming. Make sure you try them out. This is probably the best, honestly. This is probably one of the best barbecues I've had in Washington State, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Best barbecue, and, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I've had a, quite a few, but this one is topped it. Like, it's just, it's that phenomenal. And that's before I found out they won the James Beard. Then after that, it's like, oh, that's the reason they won the James yeah. Beard. So definitely make sure you follow, give them some love, let them know what's up. Tell them the Wandering Food Dude sent you. That's where you saw this, because guess what? This is the best barbecue I have had in Washington State. And we're telling you that. So make sure y'all go ahead and try them out. Let them know all that love. Y'all have a great day. Thank y'all for coming through. Subscribe, hit that notification button to find out more. Let's help us help small businesses by hitting that notification and that subscribe button. Y'all have a great day. And as always, keep on wandering.